Hi, my name is Nguyen, and today I would like to talk about the subject love. What is love? Uh, and there are really um, no definite answer. There's a lot of different answers. But to me, if we're able to answer these four simple questions, then that might give us an idea of what love is. The first question is, am I willing to give up the one thing that's most valuable to me and then giving it to the other person. So there's going to be many examples, uh, but I'm going to give one example uh, in my life, and then I'll also provide like other examples throughout this uh, video on people that I've uh, met throughout my life. So in regards to this question, when I first met my uh, wife, uh, I just got out of school, so I was uh, I was beginning to work and in my bank bank account at that time I only had 35,000 and I wanted to be with her and um, you know I loved her a lot so uh, I uh, uh, wanted to propose so I bought her a ring and uh, I spent 33,000 on that ring when I had only 35,000 in my bank account so that's roughly 94% uh, of um, what I had, but that didn't really matter because at, at that time uh, I wanted to give er like everything that I had just to be with her. Uh, so that was my example uh, with my life in uh, regards to uh, are you willing to give you know, something that's most valuable to you to that other person? Um, and so that was my example. And then the second question uh, to help to address if you're in love or not is, uh, am I willing to unquest unquestionably uh, love the other person? There's a Boy George uh, song uh, where uh, his lyric says, uh, love is never asking why. And that's such a uh, simple uh, four letter word or question but it, uh, it's, uh, it's really deep if you kind of dissect it because love means never asking why uh, uh, means that if you're in love with that person you love with your heart and you don't think with your mind so by asking why you're actually uh, using your brain and you're thinking but you're not truly madly in love so for example if the other person asks can, can I borrow your car? And if you ask why, uh, why can't you uh, uh, use your own car? Are you planning to fill, to fill up the gas tank? Uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Then that means that, you know, you're not really in love with that person. If you're really in love and they ask, can I borrow your car? And you just simply say, sure, go ahead. Uh, you know, like without any hesitation, you know, you are uh, willing to lend that person your car. Um, so, uh, you know, that to me would exemplify um, that you trust the other person, uh, the, the other person, you don't question their motives, and, um, you know, whatever you have is theirs, and uh, whatever they have is yours, uh, ideally. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's, um, that's the second question. The uh, third question is, am I willing to make sacrifices for the other person? There's an old saying that there is no love without sacrifice, and there is no sacrifice without love. And I actually have two examples uh, to exemplify this. The first example is when I was younger, I met this girl. She's really smart, and she had a 4.0 GPA. In high school, she was valedictorian uh, from high school, and she uh, was accepted into Brown University, which is an Ivy League school for uh, med school. But she actually turned down that program and decided to become a pharmacist instead because the uh, program to become a pharmacist is shorter than that of uh, being, being a doctor. And she made that sacrifice so that way she can get out of school sooner and to be able to support her father 
financially. And when when I first met her, she was living in an an apartment, and now uh, she paid off the first house, and they have a second house. So uh, it's it's not where you start, but it's where you end up that really matters. And I thought that it was really noble of her to give up her uh, dreams of becoming a doctor, so that way she can get out of school faster to help her parents. The uh, second example that I have is there was a couple that went on on their honeymoon, <clears throat> and the uh, uh, groom decided to go scuba diving with uh, um, his friends, and when they went under, uh, for some reason his oxygen tank uh, malfunctioned, so he wasn't getting any air, and by the time they got him up to the surface, um, um, uh, his uh, his brain didn't have oxygen for uh, more than four minutes, so it causes uh, some brain damage. And uh, what ended up was uh, he ended up being paralyzed from the waist down uh, on uh, his on his honeymoon. And instead of his um, uh, fiance or wife leaving him, she decided she decided to stay with him and marry him and. Uh, you know, and they've been together ever since. So I thought that uh, that was also noble of her to not leave him, and she decided to stay with him, um, even though now he's uh, he's paralyzed. So that um, to me is another example of uh, true love, where one person is willing to love the other person regardless of you know whatever happens. So uh, that, uh, that uh, to me was uh, two examples where uh, people are willing to make sacrifices uh, for the other person and also to be with the other person. And last but not least, the fourth question is, am I willing to die for that person? Um, this is the ultimate sacrifice for love. So, for example, a father's love for the kids. Um, you know, uh, being a father, I would, without any hesitation, uh, willing to give my life to um, save my kids. So there are cases where people are willing to use their body as as a human shield, or they're willing to push someone out out of the way so that way they'll get hit by a car, like instead of uh, of the other person. Or there are cases where um, one person is willing to donate their organs to another person, so that way the other person can can live. Like even though if it means that they'll have to die, for example, like donate, donating donating uh, their heart. Uh, so uh, those are examples of um, making the ultimate sacrifice. So uh, with these four simple questions, am I willing to give? The one thing that's most valuable to me to the other person? Am I willing to unquestionably love the other person? Am I willing to make sacrifices for that person? And am I willing to die for that person? And if you answer yes to all four of them, then that means that you're in love. Uh, you know, that's my definition. And if uh, you answer maybe one out of out of those four questions, then maybe you're partly in love. But um, to me, uh, that is the, defini the definition of love is saying yes to all four. So I find that there are three types of scenario scenarios of love. Uh, the first one is um, a person never found love. And basically what happens is they just marry the other person because uh, it's uh, mutually beneficial. Uh, so they just have a companion that's suitable uh, to their needs, but neither one of them is really in love. Um, and uh, that one is kind of sad, but it, but it does happen. Uh, people marry uh, due to uh, pre-arranged marriage or uh, a doctor trying to find like an, another doctor to uh, marry or a pharmacist marrying a pharmacist, a lawyer mar like marrying a lawyer, like someone that's in the same league, 
um, they 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 marry um, because it's mutually beneficial uh, and but it's not because they really love that person but socially it's acceptable and uh, so that's why they chose that person as being a companion but uh, the love is not really there uh, so that that is the first um, scenario the second scenario is one person uh, really loves the other person but the other person doesn't feel the same way uh, so for example in the clip of Forrest Gump where Forrest uh, really loves uh, Jenny but she doesn't feel the same way uh, so um, you know it's, it's kind of heartbroken that uh, 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 one person feels one way but the other person doesn't uh, love is actually like a two-way street and if the other person doesn't reciprocate then the person that's falling in love um, can really get hurt and there are many cases where uh, people are hurt by love and once they've they've been really hurt their hearts um, it's it's been scarred and what people do is they uh, put a shield uh, up and they kind of protect their heart and and they never learn to true to truly love again because they're afraid uh, of uh, being hurt a second time or a third time so um, uh, that's uh, that's also tragic and also people sometimes um, they need to grow together if 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 one partner is outgrowing the other then soon they're gonna find that they're not com compatible and as Gwyneth Paltrow's um, assistant said uh, that leads to conscious uncoupling where people are dying and they just fall they're just drifting apart you know they're falling out of love uh, so um, that is tragic as well and the third and final scenario for love is uh, both person really love each other uh, one person loves the other person just as much as the other person uh, would love back and this two, these two people they you know they're very happy you know they uh, they can't wait to spend every minute you know every second of the day uh, being together but um, uh, even though that's uh, super romantic uh, there are tragic cases where um, in life one uh, person would die and then the uh, third scenario for love is uh, you found true love and the other person also loves you just as, just as much as you love them and this is really fortunate because uh, both people are truly madly in love and they're truly happy being together but um, uh, sometimes life throws you a, a curveball and um, with uh, with cases like these uh, if one person passes away then it then at least the uh, the other person um, uh, they're devastated you know they'll uh, they can never move on they have this void that that can never be filled um, and then those who are lucky enough to true to truly be in love and then grow old um, what I also find is that when two people who truly love each each other and they grow old uh, when one person passes away uh, a, a few months later the the other person also passes away too um, it seems that when two people uh, when two people really love each other and they've been together for years and years we're talking about like 30 40 50 years once their soulmate has passed away they've kind of uh, lost this drive to carry on you know they're like they're filled with sadness and grief and so they, they they have no desire to live and then so what's really sad is that uh, after their partner die uh, dies a few months later they'll also die too and um, uh, so uh, that's that's uh, that's tragic but uh, those those are the uh, three examples or scenarios that I find uh, love has 
so the purpose of this video is to help if um, you want to find out if you're in love or not by answering these four sim simple questions. Uh, am I willing to give up the one thing that's most valuable to me and giving it to the other person? Uh, question two is, am I willing to unquestion unquestionably uh, love the uh, other person? Uh, question number three is, am I willing to make sacrifices for that person? And question number four is, uh, am I willing to die for that person? And if uh, you're fortunate enough to find love where you're able to answer all four of th these questions and the other person feels the same way, uh, then uh, I'm really happy for you because that means that you found your soulmate and that person has found their soulmate and both of you are truly madly deeply in love and that you guys will grow all together for many 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 years and um, that would be the ideal case uh, so uh, thanks for watching and hope you guys have a great day take care bye